Making a trade in Advanced Dashboard is quick and simple. You'll find buy and sell buttons readily available on many components. In this video, we'll go through the different ways to enter a trade. First, you may prefer to initiate a trade by clicking the buy and sell buttons that are found within some components like charts, options chain, and quote details. For example, clicking the buy button from a quote pre-populates the symbols and order action into the order entry ticket. From a watch list, you may launch an order ticket by clicking on a ticker symbol's bid or ask prices. The default action allows you to click the ask to bring up a buy ticket and click the bid to sell. But if you prefer the other way around, click the wrench to adjust the order default settings. You can also right-click on a symbol and initiate a trade from the various buy and sell options that appear. Another simple way to start a trade ticket is when you have existing holdings in your account. Under the Holdings tab, click Buy or Sell next to a position to quickly pre-populate the existing number of shares and symbol onto the trade ticket. Or, right-click on a position and select from a variety of trading options to either sell from or add to an existing position. If you're looking at a chart, you can also easily pop open an order ticket. Click on the buy or sell button and you will notice a green or red line appear where your mouse cursor is. Once you click on the chart at the location of your price point, an order ticket opens with the price pre-populated. You can also choose to hide these buy-sell buttons on your chart by clicking the gear icon. If you prefer looking at level two market depth, click on the bid or ask prices to populate the details on an order entry ticket. Whichever way you choose to bring up an order ticket, the next step is to review your order details by confirming the symbol, action, quantity, price type, and price. Next, enter the trading password to preview and send the order. To speed up the process, you may check this box to store your trading password. This avoids you having to re-enter your trading password on other trades during the same session. You may also click the wrench icon to change settings on the trading password and set your default order quantities and order increment. Advanced Dashboard is designed with speed and flexibility in mind. To further enhance your trading experience, you may easily attach a profit taker and or stop loss to your original order. To do this, check Attach Profit Loss Exits to populate up to two additional orders. Check Attach a Profit Taker or Attach Stop Loss or check both boxes to attach both. A Profit Taker is an order to exit your position when your desired target price is reached. For example, if the original order is to buy a stock, once the buy order is executed, the profit taker automatically sends an order to sell those same shares at a higher limit price that you set. On the other hand, attaching a stop loss order would allow you to sell those shares if the stock goes down to a trigger price that you set. If you attach both a profit taker and a stop loss, and if either one of these executes, then the other sell order automatically cancels. Typically, this sequence of orders is done separately. First, by entering a buy order and waiting for it to execute. Then, once the stock is bought, you can manually enter a sell order to take profit or stop loss, but it requires more effort to monitor and take action. But with Advanced Dashboard, you can conveniently attach either or both exit orders directly to the original order to save time. This streamlined action lets you focus on your next move. Advanced Dashboard offers the tools and versatility for you to make a trade quickly and intuitively. Your trades also automatically sync with WebBroker and the TD app, so your accounts are always up to date, no matter which platform you use. This is just a glimpse of Advanced Dashboard's trading capabilities. If you have any questions about Advanced Dashboard's features, look at the help section.
You may also visit WebBroker's Learning Center to see our library of video lessons or attend an online class.